Hey, my spiritual children of the corn. How are you? Um, welcome to Earthville. I'm Kat, and I'm going to do Libra, the zodiac sign Libra. General message for August 2021. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if it don't fit, don't try to make it. And again, this is for Libra or wherever you have it in your chart. Okay, Libra. So whenever I was meditating on your sign, um, I got um, alone. I got being alone. I got doing it alone. I got, um, you know, inner wisdom, listening to your higher self. And, um, yeah, just being content with being by yourself, you know. I'm, I'm getting the energy of um, a hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you have it in your chart, but I'm just getting, you know, learning and um, gaining inner knowledge, um, either on a, you know, a craft, a project, or even, you know, spiritually. I'm just, you know, being content and um, and being by yourself. Okay, isolation in here. And I think the spirit. And what do we have for Libra? August 2021. Let's get one of these. And thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, you know, keep doing it. I just reached a thousand subscribers, so thank you guys so much. Thank you for your comments. Um, I really appreciate it. I love reading it. Um, reading all of them, you know, if I can, I do, and um, I just thank you so much, and don't forget to check out my uh, true crime um, videos as well, okay, I love to get y'all's feedback on that, all right, so, Libra, we have balance, okay, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment, so you bring the balance into your life. You know how to bring the balance, and you do it without judgment. You do it without, um, you do it without any judgment. And um, you know, bringing that, or at least in the month of August, just bringing in that harmony and balancing, and bringing in that harmony um, into into your world. Okay. So yeah, I like it. So we're gonna get. Um, our spirit is saying that, you know, that is something that you need to do is, you know, be more balanced or, you know, um, balanced and, 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 you know, maybe not be so um, judgmental if you are. Um, or someone could be this way to you or someone around you needs to, um, let's get that balance, okay? All right, so Libra, let's get some of these tea leaf cards for you. Let's see. Libra, August 2021. We have spirit for Libra. What do you have for Libra? All right, you have the egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Yes. Pay attention to your work. All right. Pay attention to your work, Libra. What else? Purse. Pay attention to your finances. All right, Libra. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much, that's loud and clear. So, success is assured with hard work and, and good plans, okay, in August. But, um, Spirit is saying, Pay attention to your work, okay? Pay attention to the details, cross your T's, dot your I's, and also your purse. So pay attention to your finances, okay? You know, everything adds up, every little penny counts. So um, I'm hearing save, okay? <laughs> save, every, everything counts, okay? Or it will in the month of August. So um, yeah, just pay attention to your finances. Somebody could be asking you for money too and getting that as well. All right, some of you could be moving. All right, so I'm gonna do a past, present, future. Future meaning August, but you know, time is listed. So Libra, let's see past spirit. What do we have for Libra in the past? Past energy. King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Present. Let me show you guys. Okay. Present energy. 
Cool. Nice. Six of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay. Present. Or in the future. Excuse me. Yeah, for the future. Libra. For August. For Libra. Cancer Scorpio. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Cups. So that's disappointment, grieving, sadness, missing someone. Okay. I do feel like you you know, I feel like I'm talking more to like a single group here for some reason. Okay. But in the past we have um, an earth sign here, Virgo towards Capricorn, and they have the charter you do, Libra. But this is really focusing on, you know, uh, to me, it's like he's focusing on work, on a craft, okay? But, um, you know, the King of Pentacles is, is stability. Um, they're a father or, you know, a mother. You know, they're, they're really, um, you know, they, you know, they run their household. You know what I mean? They, they, they they are, you know, what you would consider the soccer moms or, you know, the co you know, the dad coaches and, you know, just very family oriented and very stable, okay, very dependable. And um, so that's what we have in the past. Now in the present, we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And, and this is an energy of, of love, compassion, being very in tune with your emotions, right? Um, but the thing about the King of Cups is, um, with the energy of the King of Cups, is they don't really express their love or their emotions um, all the time, okay, or if any. And <clears throat> they can do it in other ways, but they, they normally, um, they, they normally don't. Sometimes you, you don't even know really if this, if that's even how they feel, that they have love but they do. So Libra, it's not, you know, you or someone that you're dealing with um, is at a distance, okay? They, you move to calmer waters is what I'm hearing. You move to calmer waters. You, um, you left chaos behind you, whatever this chaos was, you know, you walked away from it. Or you're moving away from it. You actually could be moving, okay? Someone could be at a distance from you, this king of cups, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, you know, they're very intuitive and, and they're very loving. They could be at a distance from you. You may want to, you know, at the present moment, you may want to travel to this person, okay? Or you could be traveling. Now, in the future, you have the Eight of Cups. So, the Eight of Cups is walking away. So, in the future, you're walking away. But it's, you know, you're walking away. You know, normally the Eight of Cups is you walk away for, to happiness, for happiness. This right here, I definitely see a mood. See those boxes? I definitely feel like there's some leaders out there that are moving. And maybe there's some doubts about it or maybe you're not so happy about this move there is a move here all right so let's clarify yeah because at the bottom you know you do have that five of cups so it's you know it's disappointing something here has been disappointing to you has disappointed you um you actually could be missing someone or grieving someone or, or someone is missing and grieving Okay, you could most definitely, yeah, it, there's heartbreak here. There's definitely heartbreak. Could be in, in regards to a third party situation, but you know, your third party can be anything, okay? Anything can interrupt um, a situation here. It's just another energy getting in the way. And again, we have the King of Pentacles. So definitely, 
you know, focusing on your, your finances and your stability and your home life, okay? All right, so Spirit, what is this King of Pentacles for Libra in the past? here of stability in the past, a small offer, a small message, and a small offer of stability. Could have been dealing with a younger fire sign, I mean a, a younger, well, fire or younger um, earth sign here. But there was a lot of procrastination in the past, a lot of slow moving activity. I don't really feel like anything got off the ground here. Yeah, you could have been dealing with an Aries, but you don't have to be, but there was definitely an ending here. There was definitely some betrayal, there was some backstabbing, there was some, um, yeah, there was, uh, you know, someone here has been blocked, um, you know, very defensive, keeping their guard up, and, you know, and I just don't feel like there's something here in regards to stability that didn't didn't get off the ground, didn't take place in the past. All right, so moving into the present, you have, you know, like again, there's some travel. You could be wanting to travel, you know, to a water sign. They could be wanting to travel to you, Libra. Um, you know, you could be at some distance from this person. Um, yeah, but there's some conflict. There's some inner conflict, outer conflict, maybe some competition even, you know. So, <clears throat> what is the Six of Swords? Six of Swords, yeah. Holding on, not wanting to let go. Something else. What is this? King of Cups. Keeping it close to your chest. I don't think you're, you're speaking of this. No, it's stagnant. But you've gained some kind of enlightenment. And it always feels like, you know, um, yeah, somebody here walked away. Somebody here walked away from a connection. Um, and someone here is in like a victim mentality here. But, you know, uh, they just need to turn around and see that the spirit is trying to offer them something. And um, you or them, Libra. But you just in a stagnant, you, you got some enlightenment. But you're holding it to your chest. You know, someone here walked away because they, they just really couldn't see and they couldn't make a decision. It was just very stagnant energy. And again, holding something close to your chest. I don't feel like there's any communication with you or anyone. And you know, you even could have walked away from, um, I mean, it could be, take it however it applies. You also could be dealing with a Pisces here. But there was love here for someone, and there is someone that, you know, you want to travel to or they want to travel to you, Libra. Maybe there was a missed opportunity with someone. Maybe you're just holding it close to your chest, you know. You've gained your enlightenment, you know. You have, there's just some stagnant energy right now in the present. So, in the future, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles. So walking away, the queen, you could have been definitely dealing with an earth sign here. There was a there was a couple here. There was a soulmate connection here, um, perhaps a marriage, you know, a commitment. But someone walked away. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said, we have water, we have air, earth. Okay. So in Pisces, major arcana. Okay. So we have the the, the queen of Pentacles. So. Again, like, like the king of pentacles, you know, very stable and, you know, focused on the finances, the material, you know, gain. And, uh, but I feel like this queen of pentacles walked away from a connection. Could be you, Libra, you walked away from this person. 
you know, they could have moved even, they could have moved away, they could have even moved, you know, to a different state, different country. Yes, yeah, something here was manipulative, something here was not truthful. Um, there was an individual here in your life that wasn't truthful, that was very manipulative, okay? Or they, they feel that you were. And then, so give me something on the screen. Walking away. Yeah, for stability. Someone here, either you, Libra, or someone that you're dealing with, left. They walked away. They moved away. However, it applies, you know, for stability, um, for a family. You know, there could have been kids involved, um, but, you know, family, a home, um, you know, or that's what they, that's what their goal was, okay, that's what their motivation was in order, you know, to walk away, or this is what you're doing, Libra. You're, you walked away, or you're going to walk away in the month of August, you're going to walk away to get your ten of pentacles, okay, the family, the home, the love that you want, and this is more just, you know, being stable and being comfortable, okay, so that's what I got for you in the month of August, I do feel like you are, you could, in the month of August, in the future, feel as though, you know, uh, a lack, okay, it could be a lack in finances, it could be a lack in work, okay, um, but, you know, spirit is saying, you know, success is assured if, you know, with good plans and hard work, okay? But I feel like in, the, in, in August, maybe into August in your future, that you're going to be walking toward stability. I feel like that's going to be your main goal is focusing on your home life. Um, you know, if you have children, children, your stability, your lack of mentality, getting out of that energy, yes, bossing up, okay, bossing up. Some of you could even be wanting to um, start your own business, you know, be your own boss or even get promoted or, you know, you have to get a boss position here, um, but this is definitely, you know, being a boss, you know, being that emperor, standing in your power, going after what it is that you want. And right here, it looks like you want stability. You want finances. Um, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna be going after that coin. <laughs> it's what I'm getting. Um, all right, Libra. So that's what I have for you. Um, as always, thank you so much and love yourself and each other.